Joyce is a resilient single mother of four children who has faced the challenging circumstances of abandonment by four men who pledged to love, care for, protect and support her. Bose ntago bahuje basekana na base simbaze. Sinzi na mazina yabo, sinzi niyo batuye. Her story is unique because men believe that she provides luck and prosperity. But after making love with her, they left her pregnant and that was the beginning of suffering. Bakabaye wenda bana garuka, bakaza kureba abana abana babo, bakaba bakabakare cyo babafasha. Despite the setbacks, she perseveres in her efforts to provide for her children who are confronting the traditional hurdle of being physically challenged, requiring her to navigate her surroundings by crawling. How does Joyce's physical challenges impact her ability to fulfill her role as a mother and provide for her children's needs? This is her story. I was not born like this, but found myself with this condition. And upon growing up, this was so challenging, but I had to adapt and move on and consider myself to be as normal as anyone. But it really took some time for me to develop that confidence. Joyce often faced stigma, discrimination and social exclusion due to negative attitudes and beliefs about her disability which led to marginalization, isolation, and limited social participation. However, that never stopped her into turning into a beautiful grown-up woman who attracted thousands of men, and they would come promising her heaven on earth. Yet they ended up only taking the advantage of her. <laughs> Uh, it's very absurd because these men would come to me promising to love me. But as soon as we would start living together, they would find ways and vanish, leaving me struggling with pregnancy and survival alone. It happened to her not once or twice, but four times, meeting different men who looked as if they had intentions of loving, caring for her and most importantly, having a family with her. But in the end, they would all abandon her without even saying a word. And up to this present day, she's here waiting for the fathers of her children to return. Baruma has it that they were all informed that if you make some love with her, then you are guaranteed success in life. <laughs> Uh, when they live and go far away from my eyes, people start saying that these men all come keeping in mind that sleeping with me means luck, means success. In fact, it's the only ticket for one to make it in life. She doesn't know if this is really true. For none of them has ever returned appreciating and confirming that it really works. Or maybe it works under one condition, which is never going back to her again.
I now have four children who have four different fathers and I don't really know more about their fathers, their fathers were about and more information about them. That has negatively affected my life and the life of my children in general because providing for my family is way more difficult and complicated due to being physically challenged and having not got the chance of going to school which further complicates the situation. Poverty is prevalent in many African countries, but mostly individuals with physical disabilities are often among the most vulnerable like the single mother of four, where they lack access to basic necessities such as food, clean water and sanitation, exacerbating their already challenging circumstances. <laughs> I tried every possible way of earning money, but it never worked out. As I mentioned earlier, it's because I was not able to get proper education for some skills in such a competitive world, leaving me excluded and limited to some employment opportunities. But with support, I would do small business that would help me feed my children. Back to the saying that men come to her for success, she says maybe if that is really true and they got successful and let alone made it in life, those men should then come back and check on their children and help this mother to raise them. If she had at least a wheelchair, she would be having an advantage of going further and maybe getting some skills that would help her earn a living because she cannot crawl for a long distance. With that being said, she's here asking for the support for her and her kids to survive. By joining forces on givinglife.com, we can empower Joyce with the resources she needs to build a brighter future. With a wheelchair, Joyce will experience a new form of mobility, granting her access to many different opportunities. Your donations, no matter the size, will have a profound impact on Joyce's life and the lives of her children. Together, we can make a tangible difference and inspire hope for a brighter future. As we conclude, let us carry Joyce's story in our hearts, inspiring us to continue supporting individuals facing similar struggles. Together, we can foster a more inclusive and supportive society where everyone, regardless of the circumstances, can thrive and realize their full potential. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.